I read this article once, and this said, imagine that there was an alien race that had come to Earth, but they couldn't actually go into the atmosphere of Earth, and so they would drop a net. And what is that net gonna catch? Well, maybe it takes an air conditioner off of a building, and it catches a squirrel, and then it gets a couple of garbage cans, and they bring that up, and that's their impression of what lives on Earth. But they know nothing, really, about what lives on Earth. In the early days of seagoing, basically, all of our knowledge of what was in the deep ocean comes from whatever we can put over the side of a ship and then bring up to the surface of the ship. Well now, technology allows us to bring our eyes into the deep sea. We have multiple meteorological sensors, a flow-through system to measure salinity and temperature of the seawater. The mast on the ship allow us to have really high resolution navigation data. It's two VSAT satellite domes to have um, internet. And all of these different sensors provide information in real time to scientists on board. We can provide this data in real time shoreside as well. And now suddenly, when you go to sea, you're taking all of your science colleagues with you. I mean, here we are 2,000 miles from the nearest land, and we have rapid and instantaneous communication. Multi-beam sonar has definitely come um, a long way. The EM302 and 710 that are on Falcor, instead of one beam below the ship, we have 432 beams that allow us to get a, a much, much larger swath of the sea floor and relatively quickly we can get these such incredible 3D maps that allow us then to make uh, better plans and predictions of what's going to live on the bottom. Before submarines and ROVs came along, all you could do was drop a trawl or a dredge. Like we sometimes see these whole forests of corals. A trawl would just go through there and remove everything. But with an ROV we can go down and say, well, we'll take a piece of that, and we'll take a piece of that. You know, that's going to be extremely selective. Um, Sebastian has the ability to grab, manipulate, pick up a rock, look underneath it, has a front porch that is adaptable and can put different kind of containment. In the video systems, and that's really made, changed our science to the point where we can come close to identifying things while they're sitting on the sea floor, we don't have to collect them. I was not prepared for it at all. I was not prepared for the magnitude of how amazing the sea floor can be. Uh, there's no question that technology, as technology improves, our ability to ask and answer scientific questions improves. 